Here I am. I went to the dentist today and <sighs> my bite was off. So, um, I don't know. We had to redo the bite, I guess, again. And uh, for some reason, I can't get the bite right. Uh, I kept apologizing and he told me, you know, apologizing but I just felt really bad for both him and myself <laughs> um, but I I think that we got it correctly um, this time and for some reason um, he put it in my mouth you know and he's it's kind of odd too because you know sitting with my mouth wide open and he's just like staring at me <laughs> and it freaks me out a little bit but um Anyway, he was he was looking at it and um, he got like a a marker, a black marker, and um, he was like, "Yeah, your teeth are off center. It's not it's not lined up with your you know it's not lined up." So he got the black marker out and he kind of marked where it should be. And then when he took the teeth out and I was looking at them, um, you know, you have your two front ones, and according to those teeth that he was holding where he marked them it was like way over here on off to the side so it's sitting in my mouth like this when it should be like this you know so he caught it thank god um and i am very thankful for him because he takes his job serious and uh he he puts a lot of pride in what he does so for him to put all this time and effort and energy into this for me i'm forever thankful for that um so i have another appointment tomorrow night <laughs> at 5 10 for another wax try-in he's going to do whatever it is he has to do to adjust things um and then i'm gonna try it again tomorrow evening and see how it sets and he's going to look at it and then hopefully it's all good and correct and um he can go ahead and make it official so um <laughs> There's that, and I just feel so fat today. Um, yeah, that's probably a whole nother video, but maybe I'll touch base really quickly because actually it's something that's been weighing very heavily on my heart, and, um, you know, I keep a lot in because uh, I have a lot of responsibility, and it's really hard, and today I've been... Um, been avoiding uh, my boyfriend today not so much avoiding but well you know when you care about someone a lot you don't want to hurt them and even if you're not intentionally hurting them just knowing that something that's happening could hurt them makes you uh, just, it, it makes you not want to hurt them you know and I had actually had two appointments today and one was at the um, gastrointestinal doctor and yeah I was having problems with my my stomach you know during this whole process with the pills and all that but I kind of think it was also um, it began a cascading effect to my already present problems and um, Basically, if you were to look at um, a list of like warning signs of, you know, colon cancer, uh, I, I have every single one of them, uh, except for vomiting. I don't have vomiting. I, ha I have severe nausea all the time. Um, but yeah, I have, I have every, every sign and symptom of that. And... I've had this for, this will, go, this will be three years. Now, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed of this at all. Uh, I mean, I have no teeth right now, you know. Um, so I'm not, I'm not embarrassed of this problem that I'm having, but, I don't, I don't want, 
I don't want him to love me any more than he already does, if that makes any sense. Because, you know, if there is something wrong with me, I'd rather spare at least someone the pain, you know? And that's what's been weighing heavily on my mind, is that I'm scared. And when I was over at his house, I cried, you know? And, um... I don't want it so bad to share this with him, but at the same time, I, I didn't because I would just, I just wanted him to, you know, to love me in that moment. But the truth is, is that um, I'm scared. I'm really scared. And, uh, you know, I have to, I have to stay very strong all the time and just resilient. And sometimes I don't know, um, I don't know really if if it if it is cancer. Obviously, I don't want it to be cancer. Um, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes I question it. And it's because um, I was in a very toxic relationship uh, before I moved here. He was a narcissistic, sociopathic. Um, sadist devil he was evil and he hurt me he hurt me a lot and um and he uh he brutally sodomized me three years ago and um and I've had problems ever since you know I don't know if that was maybe, uh, you know, maybe that has something to do with what's going on with me now. You know, maybe he he hurt me internally, um, or or not. You know, if it's something, if it's something more. And either way, it, it weighs heavily on me. It drags me down. I'm so exhausted all the time. I you know, I can't sleep. I I'm always worrying and stressed and. I'm having lots and lots and lots of stomach problems. And then of course, you know, getting the, the extractions and taking all that medicine and stuff didn't help with my problems any. So, um, I have a procedure, um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but they're going in basically both ends, you know, mouth and bottom. And he's going to give me an answer finally after years of suffering and um pain and well just look up the symptoms of it it's not pretty it's not pretty at all um and finally give me an answer on what what is going on with my body um and i ain't gonna lie i'm so scared But, you know, it'd be nice to smile before then, you know. It would be nice to smile. Even with something like, you know, news like that, it would still be, be nice to smile. And I'm sorry I'm doing this in my bathroom on the floor, but I kind of have like no, no space, no, no place. Um, this is it, you know. So, and I don't know why I wanted to share that with you guys. Well, I mean, I know why. It's sometimes it's, it's so it's so much that it just I can't breathe, you know. I feel like I'm. I I just want to uh, if I can just make it to their 18th birthdays, you know. I'd be happy because right now it's just me you know and I'm all they have you know that's a sobering thought so I'm sorry for whining and crying but it does feel better now that I've said it I've kept it inside for so long um and I've never I've never really shared that with anyone so that's it I could be dying 
he put me on a lot of different medicine today um, to prepare me for this procedure on the 7th and also to this, especially with like the nausea. He gave me something a little bit stronger uh, to combat that and he also put me on an antibiotic I've never heard of before but it's really powerful and um, and so you know we'll see what happens uh, I hope everything turns out okay and I mean I hope it's something really simple like irritable bowel syndrome or something you know God I, I hope so I really hope so but um, if not you know I'll deal with it I'll keep fighting, I'll fight to the end, it's who I am, I'm a fighter, but uh, in the meantime, I would like to smile through it all, so maybe, maybe I got the bite right today, and um, he picked up the, on, you know, it not being lined up, so I'll go in tomorrow and um, put him in and see what he thinks and see what I think, and I, I think that it would be good, something's telling me that, um, Third time's a charm. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Hopefully, uh, then the next week I can go and pick them up and maybe pop on here with a mouth full of teeth and a big old smile. So, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I'm sorry to unload that on you, but it did feel good to say it. And I don't know if he's watching. He told me when I was over there last time that he's only watched a few, the first few that I put up before he actually seen me and he hasn't, he hasn't watched any others. So, I don't know if you'll see this or not. There it is. And I will, I don't know if I'll update you guys tomorrow. I might just wait until I get some teeth in my head because I'm tired of getting on here toothless. <laughs> I mean, I'm strong and I love myself and, you know, I'm toothless, whoop de doo still. But I, I just want to give you guys and me a beautiful smile, you know. I want to start getting into tonight we're using this adhesive or today, you know. And I do, you know, I just... I want to move on to the next step. I want to start smiling. So, I don't know if I'll pop on tomorrow. Uh, but if not, you guys will definitely hear from me when I have a pretty smile. Well, you'll hear me. I don't know if you'll understand me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to struggle a lot. But I'll, I'll get through that too. I plan on, um, I need to start watching a bunch of videos too again and kind of re-educating myself on the speech and things that I can do to, um, to help me gain that, you know, uh, learn, learn all over again, speaking and using my tongue and positioning and all that. So, and if you have some videos, maybe you can, um, send me a copy of the link so that I can watch it, or at least I can keep coming back to this video and then clicking on those links and, you know, helping, helping myself out next week. All right. Well, you guys have an amazing night and, uh, hopefully, You'll see me with a pretty smile soon. Night-night.